In this video, I will tell you a little bit about um, Versa 2, Fitbit Versa 2, and uh, why I am not keeping this uh, watch. And uh, I will compare it a bit to Garmin Vivo Active uh, 4, which I am um, very uh, content with. So this watch is uh, will be the watch of my choice. So uh, a little bit about uh, Versa 2. Um, I can recommend it for healthy people for uh, simple tracking uh, purposes. Um, but um, the thing is, you shouldn't be caring about the accuracy much. And I cannot recommend it for pacing purposes for uh, people with ME uh, CFS. Uh, I bought uh, a Versa 2 because I heard it was really easy to set up uh, the heart rate monitoring and um, with alarm and it has a very impressive uh, sleep uh, tracking so I was uh, interested in that option as well. Um, I find that the device is quite mediocre and uh, a heart rate tracking uh, ability is quite poor so uh, I can't show you um, the way I do the um, set up an alarm uh, for heart rate monitoring uh, tracking I use uh, someone advised to use this app HR trainer you can uh, download it in uh, Fitbit uh, store and uh, it's really easy to set up indeed uh, it's it's just you you choose the uh, minimum minimal amount um, for heartbeats so uh, you set it uh, i guess 40 that's fine yeah you need to Um, and then you set a maximum amount when you want an alarm to go off, uh, in this case, a vibration. Um, so it's 70 now, and you can set it higher if you want. And uh, then you click play, and it will go off. And now my heart rate is 95, so it vibrates now. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, so then you can just close it. Yeah, the, so the um, uh, alarm uh, the setup is really easy, so that's indeed a very nice feature. Uh, what else I really love about Fitbit is the sleek uh, design. Uh, it's a very nice um, looking uh, watch. I, I really appreciate the looks and the... Uh, charcoal black screen so it's it's like yeah it looks very expensive um, if, if you compare it uh, to Garmin Vivo Active 4 um, that's yeah that's that's not the case if you put the, the the light on or if you activate the lights you can see the screen um, becomes a uh, grayish and that doesn't look really uh, really nice to me but uh, yeah, Garmin Vivo Active 4 ha has a lot of good qualities. Um, so the design is, uh, of course, not the most important. But if if I if there was there would be a possibility to marry those two devices, I would be really glad uh, if that would be possible because a Fitbit is really nice, uh, a really nice looking device. So um, yeah. The uh, about the always on display feature um, that is really misleading. Uh, it's actually incorrect um, that it's like always on. The, the only thing which is always on is uh, the watch, but that's not what I want. <laughs> I want to always be able to see my heart rate. Uh, so the, the watch, uh, seeing the watch is nice, but that's not enough for me. And Garmin does have this uh, function. It's uh, uh, Vivo Active 4 has a real always on display where you can uh, show everything, every kind of statistics. If you download a another watch face, uh, 
you can choose what you uh, what you want to uh, see not not only download but you can set it up in the, in the uh, normal garments uh, watch faces uh, so you, you can you can set up what what you want to see like steps heart rate uh, i don't know distance whatever so uh, the um, versus two uh, always on display is not really always on and uh, sometimes the, the uh, one touch screen activation works doesn't work really well as you can see sometimes it responds sometimes it doesn't respond so um, i don't like uh, this function it, it actually works quite well for wrist movement it yeah it, it does work quite smooth but um yeah not not good enough i al also really like the strap by the way it's it's really uh nice and it's not uh pushing um too hard against the skin it doesn't leave uh deep marks and it's it's very smooth and soft and very easy to put on um it it looks great it's yeah, it's just I really love everything about the design. My big compliments for for the design of this watch, and the strap, and uh, yeah, the, the, I cannot say anything uh, bad about that. Uh, so, yeah, another feature: um, the battery. How long does that uh, keep uh, working? It's I, I found that. Um, it's it's about one and a half day uh, battery life and um, and then uh, you need to charge it again it's it's not much but i uh, i do use it a lot and it's already more than uh, polar a370 which i had previously and i hated it um, but uh, that one you need to charge uh, more often like once a day and and this one will continue will keep for one and a half days approximately when when you use it intensively as i do so um yeah for for me uh fitbit versa 2 is is not really workable also because of the con connection uh issues i will try to to show it um yeah i i try to uh, refresh uh, and let Fitbit find uh, my watch, but it's it's rarely the case that it finds it, and so uh, yeah, I, I cannot really see the statistics properly. Uh, it it takes ages, as you can see, and um, for the last uh, for the past days, I haven't been able to see my statistics because of the connectivity problems. Uh, yeah it, it's just now it cannot find it again so it's just i i hate it i have an android uh huawei phone uh, p9 Lite. so i don't know if you have the the same issue with your phone but yeah it, it's just not good with that so for for tracking purposes it's just something a very big issue uh vivo active uh, 4 doesn't have this issue at all it refreshes instantly and you can uh, change things in in your app and it will refresh in um, like 10 seconds maybe i don't know um but very very quickly uh you don't even need to refresh it manually um yeah, so the syncing problem is, is a real uh, big one for me. Uh, another um, feature I, I wanted to get Fitbit for uh, was sleep tracking. I, I really um, liked this uh, uh, tracking possibility and because it can show the phases of sleep. But um, yeah, the, the, the connectivity issue is just um, really uh, unfortunate. And I will show you the sleep tracking um, I have for from five days ago or something. So you can get a sleep score, which I really like. So you, you don't have to think about like, uh, what do all these statistics mean? Uh, it's, it's just a, a number and it says good or excellent or whatever. Um, and you can see the faces, uh, which is also really nice because deep sleep is when you really can recover and you want as much of that as possible so you can compare. So this I really like. Uh, the thing I, I don't like is that um, you cannot see um, 
uh, good heart rate um, graphs. I will show you an old print screen um, how Polar uh, shows that. Uh, as you can see, you, you, you get really nice uh, spiky <laughs> graphs in Polar uh, of heart rate. Um, and uh, for me, I found when I have uh, periods uh, of post-exertional malaise, um, then I see that my night heart rate pattern is really uh, spiky throughout the night. And so th this way I can see, am I recovered enough to do um, like more activities in the next day? So for me, it's an important uh, statistic to follow. Uh, and Fitbit doesn't provide that. You can only see um, the sleep phases, but you, you cannot see... Um, the heart rate uh, graphs as, as far as I can see so yeah that's that's an unfortunate thing for me uh, I, do, I don't like uh, yeah Fitbit is quite like uh, for, for general use and uh, you, you get a, a, some statistic but not enough um, in, in the Garmin, it's like a statistic uh, uh, heaven. You can get every, every kind of statistic you want. Um, I do want to make a, a separate video about a Garmin watch because I just, uh, I'm, I'm slowly becoming a Garmin fan. I've already become a Garmin fan, actually, be after a couple of days of using it. It's just like, wow, such a difference with Fitbit. In Garmin, you can see all kinds of data. And yeah, it's, it's just, yeah, it's for professional people. So I understand that... Um, uh, why uh, why that is uh, so what else um, I can say um, yeah step step count that's like a very basic feature but uh, it it didn't uh, seem to be accurate either in Fitbit uh, one day uh, past 12 uh, um, in in the evening um, I made some steps to the kitchen and back and uh, I closed the curtains and stuff and it only registered eight steps for that. And I was like, no, no way I didn't make eight steps. So, uh, I, yeah, steps count uh, doesn't seem to be accurate either, um, which is really important to follow for ME uh, CVS because you don't want to make more steps than, um, uh, than your limits uh, allow. Uh, and uh, as, as um, yeah, the most important thing for me, uh, heart rate monitoring is not accurate at all. I compared it with Garmin. I was wearing uh, the two watches on my wrist uh, the whole day and I uh, checked uh, like what Garmin says, what uh, Fitbit says and also how I feel and I checked um, manually my uh, heart rate uh, like this. And um, Gar uh, Garmin reacts very quickly. Uh, you can see the changes in heart rate instantly. And Fitbit needs to think about it. it it's quite slow. It's like... Uh, and um, another issue is that there were uh, periods when Garmin said um, 100 something. And Fitbit said 70. And uh, that was just not true. And when I sh when I saw uh, that um, my garment showed a uh, hundred, I I went uh, to sit down um, and waited. And a Garmin, um, sorry, Fitbit n never even reached hundred to show me. So it it was just it it just kept um, saying the same. So. Um, it, you can you can uh, have it, but I, I wouldn't I really wouldn't recommend it. Another very very important issue is that you cannot if you if you want sometime a very very accurate reading of your heart rate, and you want to use a chest strap for that, you cannot pair it with Fitbit. It doesn't accept any um, heart rate external heart rate monitoring. Um, and with Garmin, you can do that. With Garmin, you can use uh, either an own brand um, strap or a polar strap. I'm currently um, researching which, which is the best, so um, stay tuned uh, for that. 
Um, yeah, so the, ev everything is, is like against Fitbit, uh, except for its very beautiful design, which I love. And But design is not uh, what I bought a heart tr rate track uh, monitor for. Um, so much more important is the how it works, what it does. And uh, for that, uh, I cannot recommend uh, to use Versa 2. Um, I don't like it. Maybe you do and maybe you don't have um, the requirements I, I have for my pacing purposes. Then it's a good watch for you. It's just uh, quite cheap. It's, um, it does it, it's, its job in uh, approximately tracking your heart rate. As you can see, it's, 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 in, the, it's in, in the same range as uh, Garmin. Um, so it's approximately uh, uh, right. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just, yeah, you see it's, it's slow to react. And <laughs> okay, so that was it. Um, I hope uh, you, uh, you appreciate the video and uh, thumbs up if you liked it. And um, stay tuned. Bye.